Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones mob. We are back as King Beldacar, Sword of the Morning Dane. And we are over our nice abundant kingdom of Dorne. Um, for anybody that hasn't watched uh, previous episodes, we are trying to become the king of all Westeros. Which means that we have to have four kingdoms under our control, at least. And have a realm size of 500 or greater. Right now we're at 314. Uh, I don't even think two more kingdoms probably would be enough. We might have to get uh, three more. So you pretty much have to get all of them but one probably. Um, the Rock has a decent amount of counties. And uh, a lot of these um, have a lot of holdings in theirs. Whereas in the north, many of them don't even have two holdings. And they're bigger counties, so there's not as many. It's the biggest kingdom, but the county size-wise is very small. Uh, the Trident has a lot of counties with a lot decent size holdings. Um, if you look up here, it says realm size. Uh, like Lord Manfrey uh, of Broken Arm. It shows 1 and then a 10 in parentheses. So... If you look at, where is he, this is him, right? yeah, he only has one holding, but he has 10 other ones under him, so he has 1, 2, 3, 4, and then this guy has 2, so that's 6, then she has 2 more, so that's 8, and then 9, 10, so it shows like everyone that's underneath that guy. So like us, we have six holdings, but we have 314 that are under us. So it kind of gives you a breakdown. Like Lord Paramount of the Reach, she has 185 under her. So if we could get another uh, 185, which, you know, it's possible between these two that it would be enough. But we'll just have to see. Um, the Veil doesn't really have that many. So I'm thinking, we're in a non or alliance right now because he's our brother-in-law. But after he dies, I don't think being uh, the uncle will give us enough to have a non-aggression. And if so, I don't think we're going to take it. Just because he's going to have to be one of them we take. We're definitely going to take the rock, but we're going to have to wait until uh, our son takes over. Now, a lot of people are telling me to um, marry another person because... He's Valyrian religion, like his mom, and they're allowed to marry more than one. Now, I'm thinking when he takes over, probably making him go back to uh, the Faith of the Seven, because I can see, you know, if it comes under him that we become the King of Westeros, that the High Septon's not going to want to crown us, being the, and then being pretty much an abomination for having uh, two wives. We, don't, we ain't practicing incest. I mean... We actually could marry our, and this is another thing I just noticed, our half-sister ended up taming that dragon Vagal that was, I think, uh, I don't know whose dragon it used to be. I think it might have been our mom's, if I'm not mistaken. Or not our mom, our, our wife that died. I don't think it was hers, though. But anyways, she tamed some dragon. She's not Valyrian at all. She just, uh, her ethnicity is Westerosi Valyrian, uh, but she's not Valyrian at, at, by all, all means. She's doing pretty good intrigue-wise. Who do we have, our Master of Whispers? She looks Valyrian. I mean, we could go with that, but I think I want to just be Valyrian for him. I think he's going to kind of come out right now. He's He's pretty decent traits but i can see him bucking the system and wanting to go more with his valyrian side and it causing problems with the uh faith but we might have to go back to the faith of the seven when he takes over we can't do nothing right now about it maybe we could try it well we couldn't even try to convert him because he doesn't have his own land which i'm very doing very give him a uh, sky reach just so he gets some more prestige and he's not we're not losing prestige we're trying to get exalted amongst bed at, uh, among men and we need less than 400 so we're making like eight something right now if we take that landless something away we'll make 9.25 so I'm very giving that but first I want to build on these I think it's uh, that one's already being built where's the one this one yeah we're at fort level eight right now so we'll go ahead and bump this up to nine I want to get this to ten I'm gonna try to get 
all these to 10. Blackmont it needs small states too, which is, I think, after private farms. Yeah, they need to build that up. It's only a 7. I want to get all these around here at least 10 so they can't be assaulted around the capital. So let's do High Hermitage first. We'll do the Siege Tunnels. That'll make that 9. Um, I think, can we do more here? No, we need, uh, we need for, we need huge estates five, so we need to build that one first, but we need Stuart Towers, we can wait on that, it's already a 14, uh, Sunspear can get siege tunnels, so I think we'll do that one too, let's check Blackmont, hold on, it needs, uh, small estate too, so we still need to build private farms, so we'll go ahead and get that going, and then we will build uh, the siege tunnels and make this 12 at Sunspear. We should uh, check out on Storm's End. Where is it? It's already 15, so we don't really need to. We could actually make this 20 <laughs> if we wanted to. I think uh, the Erie is 20. I'm not mistaken. No, it's 16. Captured Rock, I think, is 20. 21. And. It still can upgrade it two more times. That's crazy. It would take forever to siege that if it was fully garrisoned and, and levied. Anyways, um, I think I do want to do that blood feud with the Iron Isles because I'm tired of them raiding me. Um, they're going to have to answer. There's already two kingdoms, Bloody Vengeance, right now with them, or Blood Feud, or whatever the hell it's called. We'll get a little bit of money. Uh, even though he's negative, we still get it. And we get to... Uh, imprison him but if the other ones do it before we do i don't know what would happen with the imprisonment part of it uh the crag is winning right now and then lease is winning but only 10 percent now uh they still have the north this is uh his heir they have a little peasant revolt but if you look his vassals hate him other than glover he probably gave him land yeah he granted him a high lordship he gave him the dread fort uh, which I think the Grey Starks had. I don't think the Grey Starks are around at all anymore. Yeah, I think they're completely like wiped out. There were some up here, I thought. I think they're gone completely. Uh, this is Baron's kid, I think. Yeah, he sent Baron to the wall. Uh, he still has a strong claim in the north and Winterfell. I think all the Starks that are alive do. There are eight left. I think there's only a couple uh, men left. There's actually, let me see, one, two, uh, three, three Stark males. There's some Castle Kerwin person that has a claim on the north somehow. Uh, I don't know if her parent was a Stark. Yeah, Ellert Stark, who was beheaded by Cregan. That was a while ago. But Brella, uh, Bella, who's 56. So there's more Danes now that have claims than there is uh, Starks. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get our son to marry that other High Valyrian girl that's in, that's our court tier. Because he, she's giving birth to this daughter here, uh, but I don't know, it's not guaranteed she's going to give birth to any more kids. So we'll get this other High Valyrian girl here. They'll of course do it because she's in her court. Now he has a second wife. And if she dies, we're not going to get another one. We're just going to stay with that one. Um, she's nothing special. She's attractive and a dragon rider. She has decent enough traits. I really would like her to give him a son. And hopefully it'll turn out genius or quick. He did give the dragon egg to her, which I was hoping he didn't. I was hoping he's going to hang on to it until he got a son, but oh well. Alright, so let's go. Is there anything we need to do? Um, Poi Courtier... I could see him maybe trying to uh, expel the warrior's sons if he gets into a little tiff with the faith. But we have one prisoner that is actually worth 70 gold. We're waiting for him to get his money up. Alright, let's go ahead and pause. My prince, news from Castle Rock, a trial by combat, Lord Alan of Mossboro, demanded a trial by combat from his captor, King Joffrey Lannister, proved his innocence by slaying opponent, Lord Bertram Rain. So he. Killed this Lord of Castamere. Now it's some little four year olds over it. Huh. He was pretty good. That was kind of stupid. 
But what can you do? Um, I, uh, yeah, we're in a war right now with the Trident. Or not with them, but on their side against the, uh... Veil. It's for a claim on Darkmoor, which is really, uh, the Jor Veil territory. So, I mean, what happens, happens. I'm not gonna get involved with that, but I am, I think, going to... Go to war with them. I just don't want... I always want to wait till the crag is done. This dude has so many men for High Lord. I know 7,000 men. He's got two High Lordships. Because if he imprisons them, I don't... I want to be able to uh, capture him. Either kill him or get money for him. Our, our counselors are doing everything they're supposed to be doing, I assume. Um, what else is there? I can go to war with them, but we're in a truce. I believe that one of your vassals can be discouraged from associating with conspiratorial factions if the proper leverage is obtained. This is our kinswoman. She wants to put her son on the throne of Dorne. Let's see. Let's ask her politely. <laughs> All right. She stopped. So there. We don't have no more to worry about there. We have a pretty strong crown loyalist. Most of our high lords. We do need to uh, up our... What's this? Thank you for having me in your household. Ah, she's got a dragon egg. Toothless is dragon egg. That's her dragon's name is Toothless. He's ugly and nimble. Maybe that's why he's called Toothless. So she went back to Valeria. Ark and Vagon the dragon tamer. He's old. Or he looks old at least. And he's 60. Alright, whatever. She was a commander, wasn't she? So we need to find somebody else. Alright. Um, we do have our niece. is pretty good. I'm surprised we're able to use her. She only has 16. Marshall. Uh, we have our sisters here. I guess we'll use her. She's got direct leader, so... Alright. Two gods are locked in eternal struggle over the fate of the world. A struggle that, according to the ancient prophecy from Books of the Shy... Will only end when Azora Hyde, a messianic figure who returned wielding a flaming sword called Lightbringer, the red sword of heroes, and raised dragons from stone. The red priests say, I am Azora Hyde reborn, worthy to wield Lightbringer and drive the darkness from the world. What? This guy, right? Yeah, I'm not saying, not me. So, some Pentoshi lord has been chosen by Relore. It didn't give him a sword right now. That's weird. I wonder why he's just chosen. It does give you a lot of benefits. You get plus four health. Dragging hatching chance and taming chance, 900%. That's insane. Huh. Okay. Um, I really just want to... Oh, yeah, we can dejure him. I forgot. Uh, we're definitely going to do that. We need to du jour him to go back under their reach. So let's do that. Alright, Doran's in a state of war. I believe that one of your bats can be scourged. Is he even in anything? No, this is uh, the guy that's... Oh, he has two high lordships. He has the Wen... Damn! We just got a lot of extra land in, in Stormlands. I don't know how and when he did that. He's got the Wen Water and he has Doran's Marches. I think uh, Galemont is supposed to be part of it right here. Because I think that's one of the du jours we have. Let's check it out. Yeah. So we can get that from him later when our truce is away. Even He is our cousin, but oh well. That would give us most of the Stormlands right there. Alright. Yeah, we'll do nothing for now. He's not acting up. Alright. Of course, she'll honor it's her land. All right. Let's see who's this. Our hair, strong hair sister. What are you good at? Damn, it sucks. You got that negative there. I guess it's intrigue then. Let's see. Um, is my spy master still able to? Oh. I guess we can get Franklin to do it. Hold on a second. Is this kid? Six shot, yeah. Uh, he needs to be her guardian. All 
I think he's better than I am and everything. 17, 14, 18, 14, 17. Yeah, he's better than me and everything. All right. Um, He should be able to get... No, he's got somebody else to this grandson here. So I guess we can do it. Where the hell did she go? There. No, that's not her. There. So the right now, I mean... <clears throat> then again, ours isn't that good. I'm thinking maybe we give him some oils. Uh, I guess this guy will do. Okay. Mm. We're not going to call it uh, Riverlands in so they can deal with their own shit. How many men does he have? 18,000? Uh, he should be able to take care of that. Alright, I think our vassal levies are a little depleted, though. Yeah, some of them are. I guess we'll just raise some of them. They can almost take care of it themselves. We're going to run into these damn uh, ironborn, though. Alright, it's so a we'll little raise up uh, Illyrion. We'll raise up Ironwood. Um, him. I think after this war, we will uh, give him over. We'll give, uh, what is it, Sky Reach to our son. Matter of fact, I'll just do it now. Um, shit. I really don't want to because he's going to end up uh, betroving these kids to something crazy. So, uh, you know what? I'm not doing it. We're getting old anyways and we're stressed. We might not live that long. So, I'll just deal with it. Alright. Um, these guys come up here. Meet there. There's 200 there. Come down. I'm gonna let these guys uh, deal with them. Let's see, let's put them two there. They'll probably run by the time we get there, but in case they don't, we gotta go this way anyway. Oh, come on, man. Raiders of Pike. These guys are pissing me off. I'm definitely gonna uh, deal with them. Sieging down my shit. You know what? They can take them with the dragons. I got another dragon rider, don't I? That's all I did. What's my son doing? Is he able to come off training? Yeah. I'm going to take him off for now. He's going to lead the center. And then we'll put Damien next to him. So that way they can take these guys out. They should be able to deal with them with that little bit of men. Alright. Leah, my dear niece. Clearly upset. Is reminding me of my promise to get her married. Ah, shit, I forgot about this. Um, who's this? Prince of Trident. Uh, I guess. I don't know. Who else is available? 19. Oh, he's got grayscale. Um, Stormland. I'm not trying to put her at something like terrible. Uh, Mandrake, Leopard. This dude's a midget. How's he up? He's a brawny dwarf. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Alright, um. Where is this kid? He's there. You know what? Uh, I'll just, uh. Hold on, what? We removed. Mer hold on. Ben Nakara Sandship. Why is that? You know what? I'll marry her to him. My other nephew. Yeah, that'll do it. Uh. Okay, well, I just married you to someone, so take the damn thing. Alright, what is this? Why did that go away? Alright. Everybody's almost here. I'll take the... Oh, shit. Alright, there you go. Um, They're pretty much sieging out everything. We'll just have them go that way. Hopefully my son and the other ones can take care of them. They'll probably run. Then again, I don't think they will because they got the numbers. They'll think they can win. Benedict of Sandship is terrible. Alright, how long until we get there to 17? Alright, let's see what we can do with that many men. 
Oh, we took care of it still. <laughs> oh! I thought he got killed. His the center just got tore up. That's all. And he got wiped out in the center. I didn't even see how many men he had in the center. Alright. Now we can put him back to uh, train the chilies. Let's uh, take him off. Alright. And then let's see. I'll move these ones over there. And then put Damien there. And then her. Alright, now let's put him back to chaining the kids. We really needed him for that one thing. I think we'll keep these guys around here in case we need to uh, go after them. Alrighty. Oh. Are they attached to us? Oh, there isn't enough supply there. How many? Is everything see? Everything sieged out there. Uh, go up here. Yeah. How about this? It's all siege. There's two holdings still. It's at 98%. It's a mister. My prisoner, Jazwell. Oh, he's got the money. You're going to go home. There you go, buddy. Long voyage. Take your ass back north. <laughs> he's a Dornish in King House. How did that happen? He must have given it to him. He had granted it to him. Is he Dornish or North Dornish? He'll probably end up uh, converting or something. Why does he not like us? Uh, oh, yeah. We went to war with him last time. I forgot. We had to take back uh, Ironwood. Alright. See, it managed too many men. Attrition from Parliament. Let's uh, split them in half. Um, I'll take them down there. John Per of River Run has usurped the title of High Lordship of River Run. Hold on, who's this? He's married to a High Valyrian Dragon Rider. Uh, that's weird. He doesn't have River Run. I think he's the God's Eye. That's why. All right. All right, my mission to improve your good name support has been a success there in the visit of Lord Manfrey of Larion of Broken Arm. I seem to manage to make him understand what a benevolent, peaceful ruler you really are. That was good, because he didn't like us that much. Let me see, um, I need to give, you know what I'm going to do, I'm going to give my son an uh, honorary title, just to give him some more prestige. And then we'll give, uh, which one is he? He's definitely considered a powerful vassal, so we'll give him the other one. Uh, there's nothing else I can give, right? No. How's the council look? All loyal but one. Alright. Thank you, buddy. Alright, tend to the wounds of the men at your behest. Seems a much happier now hearing their own lord would offer his own maester to aid his men. So we get some morale. The dragon bagels and ravenous be- Hold on. Oh, uh, I forgot. It still gives you these even though they're tame. That's insane that she tamed them. What is her uh, intrigue? July 11th. So she's already turned 16. We can use her as a commander if we wanted. I was really uh, torn between her and the other chick. She's still infirmed and not pregnant. She's not pregnant. New Lord Commander at the Wall. Yeah, Lord Othal of Horn Vale. That's great. Uh, who can be married now? Prince of Andalus and my half sister, the heir to Andalus. I think they actually have uh, boats now. It's only five, but at least it's some. Alright. We could get an alliance with him, but we'll hold off on that. Alright, Yorko, whatever. Some Tyroshi. Oh, why do we have this Tyroshi kid? I guess because both his parents are dead. To become a poor fighter. We're making a lot of kids good fighters here that aren't even related to us. All right, accept your suggestion. Damn these fucking raiders, man. They piss me off. Go down there and take care of them before they loot my shit. By the time they get down there, I'm going to be looted. 
I hate that. I'm definitely going to war with them after this is over. Alright, so... Oh, he imprisoned... Uh, the dude from the veil. I'll probably kill him. Alright. Uh, my prince, I write, express my consternation of the fact that Sir Julian, a princess past, enjoys command of your armies. When someone of higher status would clearly be more appropriate. I petition A.B. to remove from combat and take his place. You're the hand of the king, dude. Why would you be a commander, dumbass? No. <laughs> Alright, we're at 100. Let's go ahead and, um... Take our guys back. You come down there. Or down there. Alright. Come on in then, these. Now I'm going to give it to the Iron Odds because they're pissing me off. Alright. Uh, the wife of Magister Pinto Amir has been spending a few days in Starfall. And it's been a very nice experience meeting her. Maybe our people are not different after all. Non-aggression pack. Uh, it's a lot of boats. I mean, we probably could do a, uh, whatever the hell, embargo war, but... We went to non-aggression. Uh, that's a shame. Well, if I know if I need money, I'm coming after your ass. Uh, we will deal with that ourselves. Meredith. Hopefully they get there before they take too much money. Damn it, man. Zimmer's got all my goddamn money. Alright, uh, two people eloped, got married without anyone's consent except their own. It falls to me, their liege, to either accept the marriage or do something about it. Are you serious? Uh, I don't want her married to him. You're a Dane. You'll be released. <laughs> To find you somebody else because you're gonna end up doing something stupid. Oh man, they're still married though. God damn it. Hopefully, they can't have any kids. Uh, that ain't gonna stop them having freaking kids. They're gonna be stripped of all rank and title, banished around, pain of death. Perhaps a nice watch. Yeah, that will make them not be married. Uh, yeah, we're gonna send them to the wall. There you go. Oh, you went over to my brother's court. Now you're pissed. You won't come back. Bastard. Alright, she'll get over it. I don't want her married to some nobody. Come on and end this war. It's an, oh, I have to do it, duh. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Now you got your guy back. Now she loves me. Press my claim. Great. She should get married to another Manderley. Alright, um. They're gonna run away, of course, after they don't rip me off. So I think we're gonna change, uh. It's our treasure here. Where is my treasure? Yeah, he's here. Uh, let's put him over back in Sunspear. Sunspear, I think, was looted too. God damn it. Um, let's just keep him where he's at, I guess. Alright. God, another one, man. I'm definitely going to take out the Ironborn, like, right now. As soon as all my guys come back, I'm going to deal with these assholes. Alright, um, you guys can disband, disband, uh, let you guys get there. And then we're going to take out the Ironborn, because they're pissing me off with all this raiding. They're stayed though. Alright, uh, Prince Franklin has some I new ideas that are in direct contrast to your previous orders. How dare he question me? Um, so we gain stubborn or raw. Uh, he'll disapprove. I defer to his good judgment. So then, we have a chance of becoming arbitrary, which I do not want. 
we have a chance of losing authority too. I don't want that. Uh, I'd rather have a chance of gaining stubborn or Roth over the other ones. I mean, he's not going to like the decision, but it's not that serious. We're friends, anyways. Uh, what did we just get? We got stubborn. Of course we did. It's not the end of the world, though. Damn, we have a lot of men. All right. Fighting across the field, you see enemy soldier cut off from the others. As you get close, you realize the enemy soldier is Jorn of Shield Row. Seeing you charge across the field towards him, he turns and flees. You pursue, but lose track of him in the chaos. That's right, coward. Run back to Volmark. Right. God damn it. You guys deal with them. My prince, your kinswoman, Princess Serena, responding very well to my tuition, has approved her skills and is advancing in knowledge every day. So she gains diligent and two stewardship. Jesus. Too bad it's not an intrigue. Alright, they're done. So, they're going to be there on the 18th. Jesus Christ. It's like a whole month. Alright, uh, I expressed my consternation that in fact Sir Ned of High Heart enjoys... Oh my god, another one. Dude, you're on the council. Like, you can't be a commander. Pointless. Your flagship, King Vorian, has given years of good service to Dorn Fleet, but is now aging. It must either be retired or restored at substantial cost of the treasury. Um, yeah, we will we'll keep her, so we're going to restore her. It's cheaper than it was to make it, so. Alright, Angelus is under attack from the lands of the long summer. I am not helping you against them. 24,000. Yeah. No. Ugh. They all these ones are in the andal the andal ones that cause your faith to the seven. You're supposed to go help them. I mean, granted we have a non-aggression pack, but I'm not going there. By the time we get over there, anyways, it'd be over. All right, <clears throat> let's go ahead and drop these guys. Now we are going to take it to the Iron Isles because I'm tired of the fucking raiding. We can't seek redress. Does not have the opinion pillaged my lands. Alright. That's time for you to get your medicine. Alright, the crag is starting to lose, so... We're definitely going to take advantage. He doesn't have any men, though. <clears throat> During the state of war. Alright, the reach better help. Alright, I wonder where these guys are going. Okay, so we can raise everybody pretty much. Why don't you like me? Uh, raise levies. How about I give you 15 gold to so you shut your fat face? Alright. We get 26,000. We'll just go ahead and raise them all. Let me see, what's this? Minus 3, minus 6. Um, I guess we'll just raise like the ones we didn't. We, raised, like, we didn't raise last time. The Dornish March is stone away, broken arm, elbow. Uh, so we raised them. So, Baith, uh, God's Grace, Ghost Hills, Brimstone. I think we raised her. I thought we did, but. Uh, Stoneway, yeah. Uh, Shipbreaker Bay, we did. I uh, know it wasn't Shipbreaker Bay. I'm not going to worry about Adadel. Uh, the elbow we did raise. Princess Pass. King's Grave. Um, let me see. These are all small. You know what? I'm probably going to have to raise. I'll raise her because she likes this so a good amount. Alright. Let's go ahead and raise up the vassal boats. It's probably not going to be enough. So we're going to have to raise our own. Alright, um, we'll take these guys over here to get them. That's enough for them. Alright, go right. Matter of fact, stay still. Quicker for the boat to get there. Um, then we will come around here with you guys. You guys go there. Um, yeah, you guys go up here. They'll get on the boat with them. 
you guys it's two not enough so we will send five and ten should be enough and then the other 60 we'll bring over here all right they're gonna help all right let's go ahead and get you on the boat let's bring you up here I've been instructing young Medgar in ways of sword and lance. I'm pleased to appear a natural. Martial prowess has improved greatly over recent weeks. So, our grandsons have become a trained fighter. Alright. Sure. Alright, let's see. How many do we have now? 27. They're bringing their way over there. Alright. 32. Damn it, it's not enough. Bring them over here. That'll be enough of the 13. Alright. And they're going to be there the 27th. There. Get your ass on the boat. Go over here. Pick them up. Alright. Actually, that's six. We'll just pull. Actually, no. Just stay there. Alright, and that will be enough to get them. Uh, take your butts up to the Iron Isles. Iron Isles don't have any men, so I don't have to worry about raising anymore. Plus, the reach is involved. So, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, end this one here. This is getting kind of long, and I will just pick up from where we left off. So, until then, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.